Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to see about Data Store. Google has introduced Data Store in part of Android Jetpack. It is a replacement for shared preference and has lot of advantages compared to shared preference. Let me first explain you the advantages of Data Store. So Data Store works only on Kotlin coroutines and flow to store data asynchronously, continuously and transitionally, where shared preference runs only on the main thread. It uses async API for storing and reading data. So let's get into the code now. Firstly, we need to add the dependency. So this is a dependency for data store. I've added it and I've synced the project. So after this, I've also created a class called as data store manager and which has a constructor that passes the context. So I've created an instance for data store. And I've named it as user, which will be the name of the data store. And after this, we'll have to define the keys. So in this example, I have three keys. One is name, phone number and address. As same as shared preference, we'll want keys over here to store the data inside this. So I have three name, phone number and address, which are all strings. In case we want to make it as int, uh, integer. We can also change it to int preference key and then just add the data. So in my case, I'm using only strings here. This is save to data store is a save function where we will be saving all the data that comes uh, to the data store. So I'm using a model class over here. This model class also has three variables. So I'm using the model class to retrieve the data and store it inside the uh, data store. So we'll be using the edit function to store the data. So one more thing is the save and get functions in data store will always be a suspend function uh, and it only works with coroutines. We'll have to add a suspend function to make it asynchronous. As same as save, we also have a get data store function. So this is also a suspend function and we are just going to map all the data, all the parameters, name, phone number and uh, address to the model class over here. That is the phone book model class, which I've created that we'll be mapping it to this one and then we can retrieve it. So this is about the data store manager class. We'll also have to go to the main activity because there is where we do all the functionalities like pushing the data inside the data store and fetching it. So inside the main activity, first I'm just declaring uh, the, the data store. Uh, here actually I'm using MVVM design pattern. So it has a view model, but I'm not going to explain anything about that. I'm just going to concentrate on data store manager. So here I'm just declaring the data store manager and here i'll be initializing it so as we already saw we have a context over there so i'll be sending the context uh, to this context to this constructor and after that uh, as we already know that for coroutines we'll always want a scope and we can always call a suspend function inside a scope we cannot call it outside in case we call uh, the suspend function outside the scope, it's going to throw error. So I'm just creating a global scope over here and I have dispatcher IO and inside this scope, I'll be calling this data store manager dot get data. So as this is a small example, I'm not doing any functionalities or I'm not doing anything bigger over here. I'm just displaying the data that is in the data store on the screen. Very simple. So I'm just doing data store manager dot get from data store. That is this function. And I'm just collecting the data over here, which creates a function. So inside this, I'm saving the data because I've not saved the data anywhere else before. I'm just saving it inside this and getting the data also inside this just to show you how data store works. So I'll be using save to data store function. So inside this function, I'm just passing the data, my name, uh, some phone number and address.
it is just a text view that I've created over here. So inside that text view, I'm just setting the text dot uh, it dot name plus I'm giving some space and I'm adding calling the phone number and calling the address. Where where this date this line is to save the data inside the data store, and this line is to retrieve the data inside the data store, from the data store. And I just run this once and show you how it is. So now you can see uh, Sharon and the number and Bangalore has been displayed. That is the data we have sent to the data store and we have retrieved the data over here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel.